ഹലോ ഹലോ ആൻഡ് ഹലോ അ വെരി ഹാപ്പി ന്യൂ ഇയർ ആൻഡ് അ ന്യൂ ഇയർ കോൾസ് ഫോർ ന്യൂ ബിഗിനിങ്സ് വിച്ച് കോൾസ് ഫോർ ന്യൂ സിരീസ് ആൻഡ് ടുഡേ ഐ എം ഹിയർ പ്രസൻറ്റിംഗ് ടു യു സയൻസ് സിസ്ലർ യുവർ വീക്ലി ഡോസ് ഓഫ് സയൻസ് അപ്ഡേറ്റ്സ് ഓർ ഐ ഷാൽ സേ യുവർ പൊട്ടൻഷ്യൽ വീക്ലി ഡോസ് ഓഫ് സയൻസ് അപ്ഡേറ്റ്സ് because that depends if i am able to regularly upload those videos all right so before we begin uh, let me just give you a brief introduction about what exactly is science sizzler so even though the name suggests science sizzler basically sizzling hot news related to science but of course it will be uh, quite a lot oriented towards the chemistry aspect all right because i am a chemist but you can expect that major breakthroughs in other fields like physics um you know mathematics biology that would also be covered in this series all right now uh within chemistry itself you know there are multiple domains and i uh, being in the field of drug discovery you can expect much more in depth analysis of the research that is done in drug discovery um and the analysis of other fields would not be that rigorous all right it would just give you an update and of course i will provide you the relevant references if you want you can further go and uh, read about a topic and in case you know there are certain topics that you find very interesting but are not able to comprehend you can definitely let me know down in the comment section of each and every episode so that maybe i can cover a more detailed uh, video related to that topic itself all right now before we begin um i thought let's start with the uh, you know the breakthrough research um that was conducted in the year 2021 all right i i i thought that is a good way to start off or kick start 2022 that what are the big breakthroughs that were done in 2021 and maybe in the next episode what are the break- breakthroughs that we look forward to in the year 2022 um so this is what we are going to cover in the first two videos i hope you like the series and since it's the start um, i would really appreciate if you can comment down if you are liking what i made today or if you are liking the whole concept of the series because that would really motivate me to make further videos all right thank you so much let's get started now one of the biggest breakthroughs of last year many of you might already know about it was alpha fold which is basically a uh, AI algorithm which was developed by DeepMind which is a company which is a offshoot of Google okay so basically Google is everywhere and what it does is basically uh, whenever you need to understand the 3D structure of a protein so in our body there are different proteins which carry out different kinds of functions and you know when uh, when a disease um like when whenever a disease kind of like hits mankind um the biologists try to find what is the cause of the disease so generally um there is a dysregulation in the expression of proteins right certain proteins are higher in level certain certain proteins are lower in level because of which a disease might happen all right so what happens is in drug discovery is that we try and inhibit that protein in general we try and inhibit a protein which is let's say overexpressed like in cancers there are certain proteins in our body which are overexpressed that means the levels of those proteins are higher so we try to inhibit the function of those proteins now to do that we need the 3d structures of those proteins the the crystal structures of those proteins the 3d structure like how they are arranged in three dimensional that's where your molecular modeling techniques like molecular docking and dynamics comes into the picture because once we have the 3d structure of the protein then we can basically uh, you know try and use these molecular modeling techniques to uh, to find a suitable drug which can bind to that particular protein so that is how it works now what alpha fold does is just by the sequence of amino acids okay if you know, if you just know the sequence of amino acids and you don't have the 3d structure so there are certain proteins for which solving the 3d structure is very very difficult so if you have the sequence of the amino acids which make up that protein using the algorithm developed by alpha fold or using the algorithm developed by deep mind one can predict the 3d structure okay so this is a very big and a revolutionary um you know technology that was developed in fact the science magazine uh, you know labeled it as the breakthrough of the year okay so the science magazine you might have heard about uh, that has actually labeled this the breakthrough of the year so this was one very very big uh, breakthrough and by the way this had the database of all the 3d structures which are predicted by alpha fold they are publicly available so it's not a commercial software that they have developed it to so kudos to deep mind for making it available for all the enthusiasts in the field of drug discovery 
द सेकेंड बिग बेक थ्रू वॉज इन द फील्ड ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री एंड दिस इज अ टेक्निक विच हैज़ बीन लेबल्ड एज कैलिटल एडिटिंग सेवरल हाई प्रोफाइल पेपर्स इन द फील्ड इन इन लाइक इन द जर्नल्स जैक्स एंड नेचर व पब्लिश्ड एंड जस्ट एज अ प्लस इन्फॉर्मेशन और एडेड इन्फॉर्मेशन द जॉइंट को ऑथर और द जॉइंट लीड लीड ऑथर ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर और दिस पर्टिकुलर आर्टिकल्स डिड हिज पी एच डी फ्राम आई आई टी कानपुर ओके सो वॉट इज द स्केलेटल एडिटिंग वेल इट्स बेसिकली एडिंग अ नाइट्रोजन और यू नो एडिंग अ कार्बन और अ नाइट्रोजन और डिलीटिंग अ नाइट्रोजन और कार्बन फ्राम अ पर्टिकुलर मॉलिक्यूल ना वॉट इज सो ग्रेट अबाउट दीज रिएक्शन इज दैट दीज रिएक्शन आर नॉट वेरी इंट्यूटिव इन द सेंस एंड द काइंड ऑफ प्रोसीशन दैट यू कैन अचीव is is startling okay the mechanism has been detailed in these articles i will try to provide you the links down in the description box uh, but uh, you can see that in one of these articles uh, uh, a pyrrole has been converted into pyridine and in the other article uh, indole has been converted into quinoline okay so basically they have just um, added one carbon to the whole skeleton uh, skeleton of the indole nucleus when it's getting converted to quinoline so the precision by which it can be done and the sheer uh non intuitiveness of this article like those those particular um, reactions are not intuitive okay it's it's very difficult to see how that is proceeding and uh, uh, more about the mechanism you can definitely go through the articles and understand it in detail and if you want me to under, help you understand the mechanism you can let me know down in the description box the third biggest breakthrough which in my opinion is a breakthrough because there's a lot of taboo associated around it and that is basically psychedelic drugs so for example you might have heard about mdma or ecstasy or psilocybin which is popularly called as magic mushrooms so there's a lot of taboo associated around it that uh, you know it's 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 a psychedelic it's a drug um you know it 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 uh, kind of like um you know you could get addicted to it it can lead to hallucinations and what not right which what it has done is it has not really led to the development of these molecules as potential drugs in uh, drugs in the sense that they would be uh, therapeutic drugs that's what i mean so uh, in this year or in the previous year i would say 2021 um an article was published in nature basically a clinical uh, study was done wherein um, you know <coughs> uh, wherein um, certain uh, individuals with uh, post traumatic uh, stress disorder um they were given a, a dose of um ecstasy like a whole trial was done a clinical trial was done and it was found that it has immense benefits so uh, that has actually accelerated a lot of research in this domain wherein uh, you know these kind of molecules are now being tested to treat addiction anxiety depression the next is in the field of recycling of plastics so this is a very active field of research a lot of research was carried out last year as well but one interesting um, research that caught my eye was um how a um, certain scientist developed a uh, you know a polymer which could later on basically a plastic is a polymer so how a polymer can later be easily degraded into its constituent monomers so what the scientists did was basically they had uh, they used the concept of ring strain which we all frequently study about so they took a cyclooctane molecule as a monomer and designed a polymer out of it so what that d- did was that, that got a ring strain and i think this was done i'm not sure but this was done in the presence of ruthenium catalyst now what happens is that if you do not add this ruthenium catalyst again this particular plastic or this particular polymer is uh, stable up to 370 degrees celsius okay to up to a temperature of 370 degrees celsius but as soon as you add this monomer sorry as soon as you add this catalyst the ruthenium catalyst and heat only at the temperature of 50 degrees celsius this polymer will di- disintegrate into the constituent monomers and you know you can change the properties of the plastic or the polymer as and when you want so this was one very interesting research but this is also one topic that we really need to look out for in the coming year uh, because uh, this is a big big issue recyclability of plastics in the section of controversies i have for you a marketed drug which was approved by fda which is called eduhelm which basically is used to treat alzheimer's disease so the controversy around this is that in 2020 uh, an advisory committee that uh, that recommends to the uh, to the US FDA they were highly against approval of this drug and the reason behind that was that there there is a sticky plague uh, 
uh, that is basically formed which is called beta amyloid all right because of which it causes brain damage and it leads to you know uh, the alzheimer's disease so what happened was that this particular drug that was developed by a company called biogen it was able to reduce this amyloid the the beta the formation of this beta amyloid but the therape therapeutic effects were not seen basically it was able to reduce this plague or this amyloid the the chunks of this amyloid but it was not able the the therapeutic or the clinical benefit of this drug was not seen so even though it was reducing the plague but the clinical benefit was not seen and for uh, for fda approval generally the clinical benefit is seen so that was quite surprising that even though the advisory committee recommended against approving this drug it was uh, uh, you know approved uh, a few months later and you could see quick reaction from the scientists three of the uh, you know scientists from the advisory board uh, which recommends to the fda resigned so it's not that it it that all the scientists were against it some said that there were some benefits seen or they thought the approval was right but there was a lot of controversy that was generated around this particular um subject so i know see a lot of big things happened uh, in the past year i could just cover a bit chunk of it i try to make it as diverse as possible uh, as possible taking coordination chemistry uh, you know polymer chemistry um you know organic chemistry and drug discovery uh, I try to take as many as many domains as possible but, but of course due to the limitations of time I covered a few topics that too not in much detail but I hope you got an overview of the latest developments in the field of science in the last year or the latest or the big breakthrough breakthroughs in the field of science in the last year uh, again I would request you if you like these kind of videos to let me know down in the comment section I look forward to reading your comments and I'll see you in the next video very very soon thank you for watching hey guys so I am a verified educator on an academy and along with that i am also available on the unacademy plus platform where i am taking live classes along with other educators so in case you are interested in attending the live classes you can subscribe to the unacademy plus platform using my referral code that is sethi sethi and that will give you 10% discount all right and in case you are not interested in attending the live classes you can watch the free courses that are available on the unacademy for that all you need to do is go to the unacademy website or download the unacademy learning app and search my name over there that is ace haiti once you do that you will get the access to all the free courses that are available on the unacademy platform all right